In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the day. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. Sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world.
Okay, hello ladies and gents, Guess Gex here, of course, beginning a new Let's Play. Now we may not do the whole thing of this, because I am starting from scratch, and it is like a massive game. But we're going to do a little bit, at least, of Dark Souls. Now I have completed this before, I can't say that it's a blind Let's Play, but um, it's a great little game. There it is. Oh. Oh, touch bloodstain, of course. This is on the 360, and this is, as I say, the original. Um, Dark Souls, not Dark Souls 2. I have completed both, and they are both good games. But, um, they're both very good games. I think Dark Souls 1 is better. But, um, it's been a while since I've played this, and it's not the easiest game in the world, as anyone who's played it will tell you. But, um, it's good fun. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on with it. But, um,. So obviously I'm playing, as you can see, as a warrior. Um, normally I go for the kind of magic-y kind of um, approach, but uh, we'll give this a go. I am going to get killed numerous times, and there will be a lot of chopping and changing of the video, obviously, um, as you'll see. And I'm, I'm not going to be doing any kind of weird skips and jumps and stuff. I'm going to play through it properly. I know there's certain ledges you can jump off to access areas that you shouldn't be able to and all that kind of malarkey, but... Um, now we've got to be a bit swift through here because a rather large gentleman out there who we will be seeing again soon. But um, anyway, pressing on through that. Time to get ourselves some decent weapons. So yeah, it has been a while since I've played this from scratch, but we'll see how we go. Now we're going to dash into here, grab a shield. It's got the. You have to remember when you play in this that there is no. Um, Where's it gone? There is no um, proper pause, so you just have to be a little bit cautious. Not difficult to outrun these. Oh, you swine. Really? I'm going to go back for that other thing in a minute. Oh, come back. There we go. No, still not dead. Good. Of course, of course, I'm supposed to have picked up the, uh, yeah, the dagger before now. But anyway, you will notice as well with arrows that they, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. You will notice with arrows that they do tend to um, drift towards you, which is, um, there we go. Now we've got a long sword. I was thinking it was a dagger, but it's not, it's a long sword. So, this should make things a little bit easier. Although we do need a better shield, because this this, this doesn't have... 100% um, protection. Ow! There we go. So we pass through here. Keep getting these mist walls, and sometimes when you cross through these, obviously you end up with a friggin' boss fight, but um, not at the moment. Now we need to get in there to talk to that gentleman. But unfortunately, we can't get in there yet. See, because of this bit of wall, which won't be here for very long, as you'll see. But anyway, what we'll do. Head up here. There we go. And we can talk to this chap who gives us a very useful oh, item. You, thank goodness. I'll die soon. Let I wish to ask something of you. You and I we both have regret. Obviously hear him out. I have failed in my mission. But there is an old saying in oh. thou who art undead, and thine exodus from the undead asylum, when thou ringeth the bell of awakening. Well now you know. Oh, one more thing, an Estus flask. Now, the Estus flask is essentially oh, your kind of... This. Oh, now oh yeah, we need that. Um, harm you after death. And thank you. We are going to see him again, and he won't quite be so friendly next time we see him, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, the Estus flask is essentially um, your kind of healing potion, which you can refill. We just need to open this as well. But before we do that... I'm going to have to fight the Asylum de Demon fairly as well. I do love that. Um, because we haven't got any black fire bombs, so we're going to do this um, the legitimate way. Because I, I wanted to take the Master Key to get the decent shield, as you'll see. But anyway. Now I had thought... Okay, maybe not. I thought there was some kind of bow and arrow -y thing going on, but maybe not. Obviously these lot are nice and easy to start with. Come on, what's he doing? No, nope, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. There we go. And one more archer. As you can see. Yeah. 
As you can see, the shield doesn't quite block everything, but um, close enough. Now this dude, a little bit tougher, but again, still nothing to worry about. But he has got a shield. There we go. It's all about the timing with this, making sure you got you got your guard up and all the rest of it. But anyway, we'll see how this goes. This shouldn't be too difficult. This should be a fairly straightforward boss battle. And he was up here, and he's now down there. So all we have to do is fall. There we go, and look at all that damage already. Nice. And we just have to be a little bit careful and stay behind him as best we can. There we go. Keeping your, your stamina up, because your stamina is essentially how much damage you can take. Oh, yeah, you got me there, as you can see. My stamina dropped dramatically. And of course, if you have no stamina, way, you have nothing to kind of. you won't be able to block. Oh, yeah, you got me again, as you can see. Can't really see what's going on here. Should be able to finish him. There we go. All done. Nice and easy. And then he will... He's the first boss, as I say. He is. He's a, he looks a lot worse than he is. But um, if you try fighting him before you get any decent weapons, you will get annihilated, probably. If you just try fighting him with a broken sword. I don't think I've ever seen anybody beat him like that. But anyway. And we got humanity, which we can use to turn human. But uh, we will be using that later. Over here, I'm not going to... There's nothing I can do at the moment. There's a nest there, as you can see. If you drop certain items in the nest, they'll be exchanged for certain better items. Anyway, let's get a film clip, shall we? Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. There we go, and we're taken off to our new place of residence. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Now you probably saw me light a couple of bonfires in the previous part. Now they don't really do a lot. If you die, you go back to a bonfire. But this bonfire we're going to come up to soon, we can use to level up. Which is pretty damn crucial for this game. I've never seen anyone complete this game as a level 1 character. I don't think it's doable, to be honest. I'm not an expert at this, I will say now. I'm not some kind of Dark Souls uber boss. I'm really not. And we're here. Level up and kindle up bonfires. So there you go. So you see, you go to a bonfire. And it also refills your Estus flask, of course. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we can level up a couple of times. Endurance is crucial. Um, as is vitality. And we'll stick one more on. Strength. There we go. Because the key thing in this game is, if you die, any loose souls you're carrying, like I've got 117 there, are lost. I will talk to this chap quickly, who is a bit of a beast to fight later. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Uh, too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are. Okay, I'm going to kind of skip through this stuff a little bit. Undead church. Ring them both. And some, not much to go on. But so, off you go. It is. <laughs> now, what we're going to do first, um, before we do anything else, is because we've, we've now. We haven't got many souls to lose, so this is a good time to do this. Because I am going to die, definitely. Oh, there's also a lady under there, a keeper of the bonfire upstairs, who she can't speak. But you can reinforce your Esther's flask if you've got a firekeeper's soul, which we don't. But anyway, what we're going to do first, I went the long way around there, but anyway, go down here, careful of the edge, because you can fall and die, of course, as I have done before. But anyway, we go down here, and there should be a, a lift or an elevator, and you stand in the middle, and it'll take us down a little way. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a really good sword and a pretty good shield 
And then we're going to get killed because it's being guarded by a dragon um, who wakes up when you take them. Um, but we do need them because they're they're awesome. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm a bit lost. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played Dark Souls. Um, oh yeah, we can actually. We can get a few souls. Actually, there's no point because we're going to die. So yeah, we'll leave those. Um, I just say there are there's a bit, there's a few over here and you can this is a whole new area under there and this is a great bit of game because the whole it goes mad the the game doesn't like it and it really struggles with that um, with that whole area but anyway you'll also find um, actually yeah I know where there is one actually there is you also find in some of these big pot things there's one down here I believe yeah there's one you can see there's like a chap in that pot. And if you make him fall out, there we go, transient curse. So they often drop items, usually humanity, but not always. Anyway, pressing on. Oh, no. Oh, that is the curse of this game, the jump button being on the B, because if you hold it for a long time and your grip starts to loosen, you can accidentally do a huge jump, <laughs> which obviously isn't good. Anyway, come up here. Use your master key, which thankfully you've got. You wouldn't be able to come out here if it wasn't for that. Soul there. I believe there's one at the end of... Oh no, that doesn't appear yet. Walk carefully over here. That is a horrible place. That's Blight Town, where we're going to get murdered later. Anyway, head down here. And you can probably see in the distance there's a slight glow. And that's what we want. But we have to be really quick when we grab them. The dragon won't attack us until we either attack the dragon or pick up the items. But we get very little time to grab both. As you can see, it's kind of like a zombie dragon sort of thing hanging off the edge of the cliff. We've just got to be really quick grabbing all this cack. I believe there's also some stuff there as well. Yeah, we can grab that and he's fine. He doesn't mind us taking the brown knight. It's here that he goes a bit mad. Yep. Grab it, grab it. And he's going to... Yeah, there we are. Immediately killed. But it doesn't matter because it now saves us having to go back to the bonfire. But anyway, there we go. First of many deaths. But we grab the items, and because we pick them up, we get to keep them. So, um, which is always good. Which is always good. I don't know if we can use them yet. Probably not. They're, we probably need to up our stats a little bit. But um, we'll have a check. Let's have a little browse, shall we? No, nope, wrong one. Um, no, we can't use that because we haven't got enough faith on that yet. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, we can't use that. So we'll unequip that at the moment. I don't know if we can use this yet. Yeah, I believe we can. We can use that, which is a better shield because it gives us, if you have a little look... Ugh, didn't mean to do that. Gives us 100% physical uh, defense. So, if it's not a magical attack, as long as we've got the shield up and enough stamina, he literally can't hurt us. <laughs> Nothing can touch us. Oh, what am I doing? So, not a bad start to the game so far. There's a chap up here, as you can see, who can sort of help us with regard to miracles and stuff like that. He's like a sort of cleric type. I am Petrus of Thoroughlock. If not, I prefer... So we wait to chat to him again. Hello there. I realise, but I also want you to know... Here, take and he gives you something. No. I can't remember what it is. Copper coin, which you can use later. Yeah, we talk to him oh again. My. Oh, I have to await my... So what if I would... Would that... And he offers to teach you Very some miracles. Well. Now, we're not going to use miracles, then but it's good to have him there anyway. Just in case you do course. decide later on you want to use miracles, you can. Um, we're not going to join his covenant just that yet, because to me. if you join someone's covenant and then leave, you end up... Well, it's not a popular decision. Right, where the... Head up this way. Yeah, we will need to put some stuff on faith to use a store of straight edge. Yeah, man. There we go. First few nice and easy dudes. We're gonna we will get the other one later, but we want to get this one first. Because he's otherwise we get jumped on. 
So we'll deal with these two, these lot at the top. And of course, these respawn every time you um, go to the bonfire. Oh, he's already dead. Come on. Ow. And now we're going to get the one at the bottom. 